God bless you, Cousin Kenny and Cousin Michelle. I read on Facebook where you've gone to the hospital, and I wanted to come and join my prayers with all of those ones who are praying for you. Even now, Joe, myself, and Amber, and Joy, we send out much love to you, Cousin Kenny, and each one of us are praying. Amber said she'd already been in praying for you tonight, and so we're praying for you and believing God for your total healing health and wholeness in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. So I join my prayers with each one. I stand on the word in Mark 11 and verse 23, where it said if we would speak to the mountain and say, Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, and would not doubt in our hearts, but believe that the things that we say it will come to pass, we'll have whatsoever we say it. And so I come this night in the name, in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus, also remembering in Matthew 16, 19, where he said, I've given you the keys to the kingdom of heaven, that whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. So I join my faith with yours and with each one of you and all of those who are praying for you, Cousin Kenny. And I speak right now in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. I speak to all weakness, sickness, disease, infirmity, pain, and discomfort in your body. I command it now to be bound, but rendered null, void, and inoperable. I command it to dissipate and leave you now from the top of your head to the soles of your feet in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus. I pray, Lord God, that every nurse, every doctor, every technician that comes in contact with Cousin Kenny, that you would give them grace, 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 in order, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, to be able to attend to him in the name of the Lord Jesus. And then, uh, Cousin Kenny, I also pray in Genesis 1 and verse 2, it said that the Spirit of the Lord was moving over the face of the earth, over the face of the deep, and that the earth had no form and no life and was covered with darkness. But it, the, it, the, the Spirit of God was moving and hovering and waiting on one thing, for the Word of God to be spoken. And when God said, let there be light, there was light. Now tonight the Lord reminded me that His Spirit is in you, and His Spirit is hovering over you and in you. And so this night, as I come this day, I speak the word of God over you in the name of the Lord Jesus. I want you to lay your hands upon your chest. Cousin Michelle, lay your hands upon your dad in the name of the Lord Jesus. And as I as we do so, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I come and say, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let there be healing, wholeness, wellness, soundness, recreated miracles, and total recovery to every cell, organ, and system in your body from the top of your head to the very soles of your feet. I said, let there be no uh, pain, no no discomfort. I command all pain and discomfort to leave your body now in the name of the Lord Jesus, even at the very roots in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And I thank you, Father God, for touching Cousin Kenny and healing him. Cousin Kenny, also, I want you to remember, keep your slate clean. Your slate clean with God. If there's anything that may have been said or done, then repent. The scripture says, is there any of you sick? He should call for the elders of the church to pray over him. And the word of God said, and the prayer offered in faith will restore the one who is sick. The Lord will raise him up. If he has sinned, he will be forgiven. So even now, we just ask that you just keep that clay slate clean. Say, Father, forgive me of every sin of omission. Things that I should have did, but I didn't do. And then forgive me, Father, for every sin of commission. Things that I've committed in word and thought or in deed. Father God, I ask you to forgive me. Say that in Jesus' name so that your slate can be clean. And then John 20 and verse 23 says, in, in the Bible it says, Whosoever sins you remit, they are remitted unto them. Whosoever sins you retain, they are retained. So this day I remit every sin. Every sin that has been done in your life, whether sins of omission or sins of commission, I ask God to forgive you that even now that your healing, health, and wholeness will come forth speedily and come forth mightily in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. Again, I want to thank God for you. We're speaking only good things and speaking healing, health, and wholeness over you. For the word of God says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. And so we decree and declare over you, Cousin Kenny, it is well. It is well, it is well, it is well. And again, we thank God for your complete healing, wholeness, wellness, soundness, recreated miracles, and total recovery to every cell, organ, and system of your body in the mighty and matchless name of Jesus Christ. Again, we send much love, and we thank God for you and for a speedy recovery in Jesus' name. Amen.